So uh, probably 90% of the time when I'm invited out on somebody's land to go adventuring for cellars or old stone walls or, or whatever, the landowner has absolutely no desire to come out here with me and explore. But today, uh, Joel invited me out and he's with us and we brought a metal detector for him. What would you guess the amount of property your family owns out here? Uh, it was hundreds and hundreds of acres, the whole mountainside. That's awesome. A lot of land. There's a ton of interesting stuff out here. There's quarries, there's a couple old cemeteries, several cellars. Do you have any idea how old they might be? They're, they're old. They go back quite a ways. Cool. So we're actually standing next to one right here. It has uh, a very big footprint basement and you can see that the center chimney is toppled over. We haven't taken our metal detectors out yet so we don't know exactly how old but we're gonna find out hopefully. We have sap lines everywhere out here which I think is pretty. It's kind of cool. So anyway, we're gonna get our gear unpacked, see if we can find a few things. All right, well, we got our first little target here. It is not uh, precious metal, but it is lead, it looks like and it's uh, very, very intricate. I have to imagine that went to a piece of furniture, perhaps. Looks like there was a hole with a maybe a square nail went through right there. It's pretty cool, whatever it is. There's a lot of iron in the ground at this site. Uh, we're gonna keep going and see if we can find some more stuff. So, Joel says, I got a coin! This is your first thing ever, isn't it? No, you it got is. a shotgun shell earlier. Oh, shotgun shell earlier. This is your second thing ever. You have a small scent. We're gonna get the toothbrush out so we can clean it off and see what it is exactly. Make anything out? Not really. It's definitely old. Well, I can't see the date on it yet, but it's definitely an Indian head scent. You can see a little 18 down there, 18 zero something, a little Indian head scent. Good for you. You said there's more targets down there yeah, too? I'm getting like 76 and then it's coming down to all in this area here, but I can't seem to pinpoint it. Good for you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's very cool. <clears throat> so uh, it's been, I don't know, five minutes since Joel found his Indian head scent. And I just found this enormous, what appears to be a colonial era flat button, which is a little bit baffling because that Indian head scent is post-1860 and I would have to guess this is much earlier than that. I don't know, we've got two different time frames, two different time frames here. Um, we're gonna keep keep looking and see what else we can find, but this is exciting. All right, let's keep going. Uh, well, we were just chatting with, uh, I don't even get his name. Four-wheeler guy. Four-wheeler guy. Uh, he's clearing the lines. Trees fall on all these sap lines throughout the year, and they said that it's easier to clear them now than it is in the uh, spring when there's still snow on the ground. But he was uh, pointing out a lot of these uh, maples, the leaves have these little circles in them. You can look at this. And uh, inside of those are these little grubs, little, uh, little maggot creatures. Maple leaf cutters, yeah, that's what he called them. Look at all of them, too. Holy They're everywhere. It's too bad. I don't remember ever really seeing those, no. but I wasn't really looking for them. He would be looking for them because it's their business, but it's pretty cool. Vermont maple syrup, if you've never had, you're missing out. <clears throat> well, I just got another button, and uh, it looks as though there's going to be a design on the front. It has gold gilt on there as well. See that? Yeah, 
I think it's a flower. Look at that. That's a pretty one. I'm sure that there'll be a back mark on here. Something about how many times it was gold plated and all that. Uh, treble gilt. Oh, you can see that. That's what it says. Treble gilt. Three times gold plated. The very pretty flower on the front. Nice. Very nice one. Alright, let's keep going. Check it out, it's a little gear. This would more than likely have been out of a pocket watch. I would have to guess. Little brass sprocket or, or gear, cool. Wish I could find the whole pocket watch. I've never found a complete pocket watch. It's on my list. Lots of pieces, I probably have enough pieces to put one together, but. <laughs> cool. 85, 86. 85, 86, uh, right in the thick of all this, these stinging nettles. Yeah. Watch your elbows. Oh, there's a ton of roots, I know that. See your hand? Yeah, there it is. Big old copper coin. Good for you, awesome. That is so cool. That is awesome. Jeez, you're making it look easy. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Here, I'll let you do the honors again. Looks like it's in better shape than that penny. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That side's actually in really good shape. Say one cent? One cent, yeah. That's amazing, man. <laughs> it really is. Look at that. Big old copper. Good for you. Jeez. You're gonna uh, wind up going out and buying a metal detector. Probably. <laughs> <laughs>
We're not going to stick our hand in to find out. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep moving. So uh, we did detect around the quarry a little bit, but we didn't find anything but shotgun shells and, and brass uh, shell casings. So we're heading back to the home site and uh, we'll spend the rest of our detecting time there. All right, well the main home cellar is right there. And I'm up in what I think is a barn foundation. Uh, there's not a hole, but you can see there's some stones here and they cross here and they create a rectangle that I'm standing in the middle of. And I just got a little cuff button and 99.99% of the time these are just blank. But I think this one has something on it. Check that out, that's a little anchor. God, it looks like there's even writing. See that? Let's see if I can make that out. All right, well, it looks like it says Liberty Union with a little anchor in the middle of it. And there is a back mark back there as well. From what I understand, I think this is what's called a Jacksonian button, uh, which there's dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of different designs. Um, and they're dated to mid-1800s. That's going to be my guess. Um, I was hoping it'd be military, but it doesn't seem like it is. These are just civilian buttons. Still very, very cool. I'm excited about how well it cleaned up, too. All right, let's keep looking. Well, this is a, a common find. It's uh, what metal detectorists call a toe tap. This would have been nailed to the toe of a shoe for a little extra strength. But this is the first that I've ever found that still has leather and what appears to be... Ooh, he just found a bottle over there. I'll be right there. And they still got like what some wood and, and leather in there, so this must have been the whole shoe. Very cool. We're gonna leave the leather. <laughs> we'll take the toe tap. Go we'll take a look at his bottle. There, along with that piece of hitching post, I think it was, I found. Got an old hitching ring. Ah, another hoe. Another dirty hoe. <laughs> <clears throat> we got some writing on the bottom. Yeah, I just found that. It was right on the top. Menon. Menon. I don't know if that's old or not. Menon, wasn't that? No, it's now? got a screw top on it. Yeah, that's got to be more modern. Um, I don't know if that's like a... It looks like a perfume, but it might be like a whiskey or something. Very cool. Your old man or my old man? My old man. Your old man. Yeah, he's the one that always called me. Bear Bears hoot, yeah, right? Entire life that bears hoot. Black bears. What a letdown. <laughs> he was saying he was watching uh, the video that I talking about the bears hooting and they don't actually hoot and he grew up the same thing. You live, you grew up about an hour north of me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everybody I know too thinks bears hoot. Maybe it's, maybe they do in Vermont. I'm not alone. It's good to know. <laughs> So I just got another one of these little Jacksonian uh, cuff buttons, and I think that it's different than the last one, than the anchor one. Uh, maybe it's just a flower. Yeah, sometimes they have kind of patriotic stuff, eagles, and clearly like an anchor, but this looks like maybe it's just a, just a flower. Still cool, a little pretty little button. Probably be a uh, back mark back here, but we'll wait to clean it off later. Nice. Lots of buttons today. All right, I was uh, clearing a path through the nettles with like a weed whacker with my metal detector here. I got a beautiful 84, nice and solid. I don't want to call it, because it's bad luck, but I'm optimistic. Oh, I see the corner of it. 
Let's bring the camera around. I guess corner wouldn't be the right description. Edge. Oh yeah. Bum, ba, da, da. Nice. That looks like it's in good shape too. Whoa, that's a Drake bust. Sweet. That's way older. Crazy, Look at that. Man, the dates and the. 1807. Wow. Clear as day, that one. That is a nice one. All right, awesome. let's get it cleaned up. It's as far as I'll go with it out here. Nice one, 1807. That's so awesome. That nice. Sweet. <clears throat> so I was just digging this hole, and I saw a big shine of green. I thought for sure it was going to be something. <laughs> Like from a copper, but it's this big plump green uh, caterpillar, whatever it is. I thought it was brass, but uh, there is something right here. Let's see. I can see just the top of it poking out. Whoa. What the hell? What do you think? I did find something else similar earlier, which I didn't show. Yeah. Geez, is that the same thing? It looks it. It is the same thing. Well, kinda. Huh. It's similar, but it's not the same. I want to say that it's uh, like decoration on a Revolutionary War era musket. Oh yeah, that could be. But it's it's probably just a piece of a chair. That could be as well. <laughs> Don't know. We'll put them together. Throw them in the bag. Yeah, the temperature's dropping for sure. Um, you beat me. You got two coins. I got one. Luck. And you found both of them right away. Incredible. All right. All right, let's see. We have an incredible four toe taps. Probably two pairs of shoes, I would guess. They both, or they all had uh, leather in them. We also have four buckles. This one is a beautiful, like, pretty one, but the rest are all very kind of utility horse tack. This one is actually in pretty good shape. I might try to repurpose that one. Clock gear, probably a pocket watch. A couple musket balls and an iron spoon. This is a lead who knows what. I always, I always assume they go to, like, furniture or something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. And we have the trifecta of uh of early american coins this one we can read the date on it's an 1807 drape bust large set this one we can't quite make out yet 18 something and then uh, post 1860 indian head set awesome what a good day so i want to say a huge thanks for inviting me out to here to your, your family's land no problem and we were discussing how cool it is to know that this stuff would have belonged to an ancestor, direct. Very cool. That, that's, I, I find that super interesting. All right, I'm gonna head back home. Um, I've got a over an hour drive, so I thanks, thanks again for inviting me out. And no problem, man, we'll anytime. Again. You thanks gonna go by. run out and buy a metal detector? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.